Marcus Conti reporting. Did we get duped yesterday by Trump? Did we get duped? Did I get duped? Maybe you didn't get duped, but did I get duped? I took that shit, that Trump killing Al Baghdadi hook, line, and sinker, man. I had that hook in my mouth. I was fucking... I I was like the big fish, man. I believed all of it. I didn't look into it. I believed. I saw Trump almost crying how how they chased Al Baghdadi down the hole and Al Baghdadi blew himself up with three children and the and the tunnel collapsed and they dug out his arm and his leg and they did a DNA test and they proved it was him. They got back on their planes and they flew across the very dangerous terrain. Is it all true? It was it just was it Trump's uh, Saddam Hussein moment? Was it a political political satire to get people to vote for Trump, to feel sorry for Trump? Was it? Was it? Because I feel like my ass is a little open right now because you know what? The Russians think so too. And the Russians, they're always right. All right? So let's take a look, man. So let's see what Russia said. No proof Russia dismisses Trump's Baghdadi victory lap as Propaganda. Ooh. Trump Trump wouldn't do something like that. Trump is a, a, a Trump would our government stage a uh, a theater, a a, a, a the, theoretical <laughs> theatrical murder of the leader of ISIS to win points politically? <laughs> of course not, right? It's a fucking come on. Uh, so let's read. Moscow is dismissing President Trump's um, celebratory statements on the U.S. Special Forces raid, which allegedly killed Islamic leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, uh, as but premature propaganda. <clears throat> Details some of the some of the dismissive statements to come out of Russia hours following the major White House announcement of the terror leader's death, or what's become the Trump administration's own Bin Laden moment. Because it worked for um, it worked for Obama, remember we got him. Remember, it also worked for George Bush when they when they got uh, Saddam Hussein. Right. So is it? It's just propaganda. What do we need to now. What do we need to see the arm? Do we need to see the leg? How did the How did the tunnel collapse? Now I'm thinking like because my ass is open, that the tunnel collapsed, and then how in, within an hour or two, how did they dig out parts? go into the, the collapsed tunnel that just blew up and secure a piece of the guy's body and do a DNA test. How, how is that possible? The story itself is a little strange, right? How does, it, how does the tunnel blow up, right? I don't know. So the, Daily Beast, so the Daily Beast cites Russian state television correspondents in the United States as saying, quote, Trump has elections coming up in the year... In, in a year, and his announcement of al-Baghdadi's liquidation will add some points for commander-in-chief. Mm, yeah, of course. Trump looks like a rock star when this all happened. Uh, and more provocative, fucking I hate this, I hate this shit. I hate getting, getting duped like this, where you can't believe what anybody's saying anymore, right? Was Trump, was Trump duped? Maybe Trump was duped. Maybe Trump was watching a, a CIA television show, right? A, a, a performance for, you know, for uh, a performance for one, a performance for the executive branch. Is that possible? Did Trump watch a fake movie of the uh, the? Did he get fake information from you know inside quote forces? Was he looking at something that he thought was real? That's a possibility, too. However, Russian defense... Uh, so, um, uh, and more provocative is that the Kremlin has even rejected the rare praise that Trump personally heaped upon its military for its cooperation in Baghdadi's killing, as uh, we noted previously. Trump said in his Sunday morning victory speech, the Russians were very cooperative. They really were good. Russians treated us great. They opened up and had... We had to fly over Russian areas. Russia held areas. Russia was great. Remember when Trump said that yesterday? However, Russian Defense Minister uh, Igor Kavansky shot back soon after the praise started in part saying, quote, 
The Russian defense minister has no reliable information about U.S. servicemen conducting an operation for yet another elimination of leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi in the Turkish-controlled part of the escalation zone. <clears throat> yet another. So how many times has this guy been killed already? I, I didn't know that. The fuck do I know? What do I know? I don't follow. I don't follow fucking ISIS murders, right? So I don't know. My ass is killing me right now, man. I got duped. I got duped yesterday, man. I'm fucking... I apologize, man. Dude, I got fucking... <clears throat> the Kremlin has rejected the assertion that it had any kind of involvement in the dare, daring uh, nighttime raid, as the White House described it. <clears throat> um, the uh, general, uh, Russian general, sarcastic, quote, yet another quip reference references the fact that there has been at least three major instances where international media reported Bag al-Baghdadi's death over the past years. <clears throat> three? Oh, my God. As, um, uh, and as for U.S. Uh, Special Forces soldiers and now journalist Jack Murphy pointed out, the number of to past total official claims related to the mysterious terror leader being killed or severely injured is over a dozen <laughs> man, I can't believe this shit, man. Trump, you you better fess up, man, because because we just we just we can't believe anything anymore. It's horrible. It's a horrible existence. You just don't know what to believe. You're watching your president, and you want to believe that they took out the ISIS guy because the ISIS guy is a bad guy, and then you realize that well, ISIS was just a figment of everybody's imagination, perpetrated by the Israelis, perpetrated by the CIA. It's just a pop-up tent to keep the military-industrial complex going. See, I know all that, but I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to believe that Trump, Trump got the guy, man. He got him. He got him, man. His fucking American might, American ingenuity got the guy. Furthermore, the Russian defense minister explained, uh, there were legitimate questions and doubts about the very fact of U.S. operation, and especially its success saying they have no recorded proof of U.S. coalition airstrikes in the uh, Iblid, Iblid area Saturday night. The MOD also rejected the uh, Minister of Defense, also uh, rejected the notion that it opened its administrative airspaces over the escalation zone in question to U.S. airplanes. So Russia's confirming that they had no idea what was going on, that there was no, there's no recorded evidence that any of what the U.S. is saying actually happened. Wow. Crisis group, um, uh, the, okay, so the governor further argued that it is, it was ultimately the Syrian army backed by Russia air power, which had already defeated ISIS and al-Baghdadi's death, if, even if confirmed, has absolutely no operational significance on the situation in Syria uh, or on the actions of the remaining terrorists in the zone. Well, that's true. We, we already knew that, that it has absolutely no significance killing the guy because they're just going to prop up another leader. But, um, and it, it's also interesting that, that uh, Russia is taking uh, credit for, if killing the guy at all, Russia did it. A crisis group think tank senior analyst Sam Heller observed Sunday that Baghdadi's personal uh, centrality to the organization's success is unclear, given that the group seems to have invested in systematizing and institutionalizing itself in a way that could migrate the loss of any single leader, even at the very top. Uh, so we knew that, right? So... Okay, so we know the insignificance of taking out a decentralized, a leader of a decentralized organiza organization like ISIS that keeps propping up. Wherever we fund counterinsurgency wars, then you get ISIS again because that's what it is. We don't, we don't, those, those folks have no loyalty to the U.S., right? and they're constantly changing sides. That's why you have to end the wars. Uh, so, so we know that... Um, that I lost my train of thought. We know that fucking ISIS, right? Two things, right? Did did um, did the thing actually happen? 
we know for sure that taking out a decentralized leader has really no effect in the region. That we know. But the other thing is, did it really happen? Did, did this whole scenario that the United States, under, did Trump paint the picture that never happened? And if so, was Trump himself duped by the powers that be, the deep state, the CIA, right? Because again, all he's saying is he wasn't there. He's watching a, a television show. Is the, is the system, what I'm trying to say, is the system so corrupt? Is our system so corrupt that the commander-in-chief that we believe is the commander-in-chief really not running the show at all? That has it, that has, has it become so bad and so plagued that our elected official has really no say in the matter. And or it could have been just one giant charade. Marcus Conti reporting.